hi loves welcome back to my space if you're new here thank you so much for dropping by if you are an og i see you so guys as you can tell from this set setup you can already tell we are doing another diy so today we're going to do a diy we're going to use skewers we're going to use our glue gun as usual gold paint because i'm super obsessed with gold because hey and then you're also going to use this black um paint because you're going to use this plant to make frames you're going to make a frame on our own and then you're going to use these two plastic ball bottles yeah and, and scissors by the way and scissors so these are all the items you need for this day right these are very cheap items they're very cheap items you can get them um anywhere at a cheaper price and have an amazing amazing home decor so yeah we're going to start with our skewers so these skewers are 25 centimeters you can use longer if you want i'll advise you use longer because longer ones because i felt like this frame was too small but again it depends with the size of frame you want so for me i wanted to have a frame which is which is supposed to hold my decor <laughs> so here we're just trying to panga them the way you want you don't have to, you don't you don't have to have uh just some straight random frame yeah so you can just play around with uh, skewers you can have them placed one at the top of the other or something you know just play around with these ones yeah so for me i decided i'll have um the sides doubled or tripled because Uzitopia ni muhimu, yeah. So you can go with whatever, uh, with the amount of uh, skewers, depending with the width that you want, the width of the frame that you want, yeah. So how how much wide do you want your edges to be? That will be determined by the numbers numbers of skewers you're going to put. So this time I learned my lesson from the other DIY. I never used gloves when painting. <laughs> And this time I learned my lesson and I decided I'm going to use this plastic bag. I know this plastic bag zimebaniwa Kenya. Usinuliza kwenye nilitoa. But hey, I decided I'm going to use this plastic bag to use for my, to protect my hand and my nails. I'm going to buy gloves for the next DIYs, so don't worry. So at this point I decided to use that. And here we are painting the skewers. This one is a lot of work. If you go... One by one, it's a lot of work. So I realized this is going to take me forever. And I decided I'm going to combine a lot of them, like have hold on to many and then paint them all together, yeah? But also when you're doing this, ensure that they are, you separate them, as you can see me, because you separate them, because if you don't separate them, zitashkana, and then one, a few ones will not, some edges will not um, get the paint, yeah? So just separate them and then paint 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 as you can see my pa is already here he wants to help he's always like he's always engaged on these diys so yeah who are you not to do this if my pa can do this who are you not to try <laughs> yeah so we're going to paint it to paint them all as you can see we're doing be gentle with this with this because pink and uh, if, if it goes to your skin uh, and you don't have the the right you need to remove it um Mafuta to remove it, a rangi na stick. If if it goes to your nails, it's it's permanent. Like this is mafuta, rangi mafuta, yeah. Not water based. It's not water based, yeah. So if if you let it get to your skin or your surface or wherever you're you're placing this, that's why I decided to do the 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 what the plastic bag because I didn't want them to stick on my fingers, on my nails, on my skin. I learned my lesson from the previous video. So yeah, we, we're just going to paint them all through. I know, I know, it's a lot of work, is it? It's a lot of work. As we paint, can we talk about our economy? Where? What's happening to our country? What, what's happening? What's happening? Like, a lot of things are going on and money is nowhere to be found. Money, money. Where is money going, by the way? Ebo, you guys tell me what's happening. And someone, some, I know someone will come and tell me, oh, bottom up, bottom up. But anyway, it's all right. Once you're done painting, you're going to get in with, uh, to, to the next part of this video. Because this video is 
in two parts i feel like i could have cut it in two parts but i decided no i'm going to just put them all together so we're going to uh our bottles our plastic bottles as you can see you can tell these are fanta bottles and the reason as to why i took fanta is because they have like a flat middle size you see that middle part is super flat compared to others like for cork it's always round and has some to dot dot or something yani so i wanted a, a something that is super flat as you can tell this one is already textured at the top the the round capat at the top is always textured and then this one where i'm cutting is super flat and smooth there are no texture texturizing there is there is no texture on that can you need super smooth yeah you get what i'm saying so we are going to cut that part out because that's what we need we don't need the other part the other part you can put you can keep them to uh to do a diy on your flowers if you have uh home flowers or something yeah if you have like a home garden you can use this one so as we always say on this channel there's nothing that is going to waste so whatever is remaining here we are also going to use it somewhere else maybe in our gardens as i said but we're not going to throw it away we don't throw it we don't throw it especially plastic bottles we don't so yeah these the, the ones that are remaining we're going to use them to do planting or also another diy you can you stick around and see you 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 never know what magic will come out of this waste yeah because we get the best out of waste we do the best out of waste yeah as i was telling you this one i'm going to think of how i'm going to use it and plant it plant with it yeah it's going to be a planter so once you've cut this you're going to just smoothen the edges and ensure that the edges are done like you don't have rough edges so like this the way I'm, you see that corner was sharp so i'm going to just even it out so we're going to even it out and then you're going to do um remove all the stickers that are there this like just don't 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 be in a rush just top poly poly because these stickers sometimes can disappoint you yeah especially like these ones the nyezi little so they they're just there looking at you like yo so just be gentle don't be in a rush remove the stickers because we don't need them we don't need them and then here is our what you have so what we're going to do we're going to cut it into two like no into one like hivo so that we have, we have, we're going to cut it once so that we have one large and straight plastic bag. That is what we have. Once you've separated it, you're now going to create a fold. Pole, 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 pole. A good fold. A good fold. Secret to this, usifinilie chini sana. Don't press it down hard because I did I pressed it hard. Don't press it hard. Once you have just that fold, yeah. Don't do this. Don't press it this hard because it will it will it will sumbua you. It's going to to give you some headache at another point of this DIY. <laughs> so don't press it too much. But again, we do we learn we do this we learn. Once you've cut, now we're going to create um our pattern. We're going to create our pattern. We are going to start at the tip this one go in like that start at the tip you go in and then get out do you know what we're making we're trying to create to have a, a leaf form yeah we're going to we're trying to have a plastic leaf so from there I'm, i've already told you what the diy is all about wow anyway we're going to create a leaf so create a stem go in to create a stem and then curve curve it out yeah Carve it out as you can see me doing. So I'm just, I've already created the custom. You can see it. Now I'm carving it out to, to form a leaf. Yeah. I know you, I know you're understanding. I know you're getting me. Are you, are you getting me? Like, I know, are we together? I should be asking this. Are we together? You know, <laughs> remember the way teachers used to be like, oh, are we together? And it's already past lunchtime. Lunchtime bell has already rung and the teacher is still asking, are we together? You and who? You and who? Anyway, so we are going to create a leaf form like you can see. We have done this. We already have our leaf. Look at that. Look at that. I also felt like I, I really need this stem to be sharper and not as wide as this one was. But again, we have already achieved what we want. At this time, at this point, your DIY is almost done. At this point, you can already decide to, to have your leaf on the frame that you, you're creating or whatever. You have a leaf. So at this point, your DIY is already done. And I love this leaf. Look at it. Look at it. 
But who told you? Creativity is key. We're not going to use just some random cutout papers without any design or anything. Yeah. Don't struggle like me. Don't struggle like me on this stem. Don't struggle. But I felt like the stem was too large or too wild. Yeah. So we already have our leaf. Now we are going to create patterns to this leaf. What are they called? Like the way you the leaf, the normal leaf, they always have two lines in between. Those two two outlines, yeah. When you look at the leaf, you have to to outline in between. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut small, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny outlines. On these 10, we're going to cut it out, pole pole, and see what I did. I wanted to tell you, be gentle. And before I could even say be gentle, boom, I've already cut it. Anyway. Don't worry, our leaf is still cute. Yeah, we're going to create this step. I'm going, I'm truly, I'm not going to start it over again. This time, I'm going to recreate it by add, putting it back with either glue or a pin or anything. I'm just going to add it back to this leaf. So don't worry, don't worry. At this point, I was already giving up. I felt so tired with that leaf. As you can see, I already even kept it aside. But again, I was like, no, this one was too cute to put it up. I tried thinking about um, creating a new stem and then I was like, no, 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 no. With all the creativity I have, with all the genius mind that I have, I'm not going to do another leaf. I'm going to just reattach this stem because it's only the stem. And th that's what I did. I, I'm going to reattach this anyway. So I, I had to put it aside. I was super disappointed and I had to start with another leaf. The, the small one that was our biggest leaf yeah so we're going into the small leaf but if you have if, if 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 you like perfection i know we all love perfection you will go direct to creating another leaf because that one gave me some headache but anyway i was so disappointed but again let me say on this one be gentle my sis, you sis, make sure you, your scissors are sharp, yeah? So be gentle. Don't go down, 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 down when cutting. Just cut your outline the way you want, the, if, in the size you want, small ones or whatever. But at the edge where your fold is, where don't make, make sure that your scissors doesn't get to the fold because that's what I did to the first leaf. And then I got disappointed because I, I did cut it out and, yo. Know, you know the car feeling. You know the car feeling. Anyway, this is what you're achieving. You can see what you're doing. The second one is giving. Like the second one has agreed. It has agreed that, Madam, I'm at your service. Let's do this. I'm not going to disappoint you. And it really didn't disappoint me. But again, the, I felt like the stem was too huge. But again, don't go in. Don't deep. Don't go deeper. Don't go deeper. Don't go deeper. We don't have to. to to have another second disappointment like the first one did but as i told you we were no we're not throwing anything so you'll be surprised to have our second flower our first stem that was cut out back to this is to this day away so once you've done this is what you have so we're going to open it up once you've cut these two outlines you you bet you have to we have a flower that is now a leaf that is now outlined and you see what I'm struggling with? I'm struggling to open it out. You remember me telling you not to press down the fold too much? This is why it gives you problems. This is why you get headaches because of pressing it out, pressing it down sanam. So I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to open it up and make it um, straight at this point. But we are achieving it. You can already see that leaf. Can you? Can you? Can you? You can already see this leaf because... Hey, my friend, this one is too cute to ignore. This is too cute to ignore. So I really, really struggled pressing it down. But again, with this mind that I have, I'm not going to struggle about it. I'm not going to. We are going to find it to find a way of doing this. We are going to find a way of doing this. So back to this leaf, because I'm going to use it, as I told you. I'm going to attach it here. So I had a thought of using glue gun, because why not? I realized glue gun will hold it down, so I'm I'm adding glue gun to the leaf, and also I'm thinking of pressing to up or like using a wire or a pin to hold it down, yeah. Because as you can all agree, this leaf is so cute. You can also leave it at this point. You can leave it like the way it is, but for me I needed the outline, yeah. But you can leave this leaf 
as the way it is that way so we are back with this leaf i did a little glue gun and then the glue gun wasn't holding this glue gun wasn't holding so i did a little glue gun i tried pressing it out like the first leaf busy busy pressing it out and then i got my second disappointment i got my second disappointment and i realized i need to use um, a wire so as you can see that cutaney wire in between that cutaney wire is holding my stem and my leaf together because we're not going to throw this away so yeah at this point uh we have our leaf our leaf is done as you can see look at that look at the way it come it came out just look at look at that look at that no one can even tell you have a dent at the stem no one can tell that there's a dent apple stem no one trust me no one will know at a when a joy you're looking you're trying to find the wire you cannot see it but trust me it's just there and then just me being me i real i still needed the stem to be smaller and I, at this point i was super gentle because i don't want to get another life disappointment i didn't you can imagine getting disappointed on one day away for almost two to three times my friend on a changa chini you just leave it and then you just sit think about it and you're like are i really doing the right thing should i continue with this day away or not i is this a message from someone or what so disappointments anyway we move on we move on regardless of whatever comes you you know the, first, the best thing about creativity is no one is limiting you you're not limited so you can go way beyond your imagination you can try whatever you want you can you know you can try whatever you want and then you're doing this for, for for your for your house so you do it with passion and you really want to see the end results so at this point our leaves are done i'm done cutting thank god we are we we don't have any mess again so once you're done with this we're going to spray paint this one and this time i decided i'm going to put a surface on where i'm spray painting because oh, why not so I'm going to spray paint gold because as as you all know I love black and gold. You if you are an OG to this channel, you already know. Like go and check my old DIYs. You'll never miss gold. And this gold was giving. This was a bright gold. I've I've had different golds. I go buy different cans and every time I get um these are uh, gold, I get different shades. But this one was giving and I was like, "Oh." Anyway, back to our spraying tips. Use gloves, use gloves, you can already see my nails are messed up. Use gloves to spray from like a distance. Spray from like a distance to avoid it dripping. So you know what I mean by dripping, Ile? Like you put it too much and then it looks like it's just there now it's dripping. Yeah? So you spray it at a distance and then you're letting this dry. Look at those. Look, hey my god. Mm. Isn't it matter with some tigani by the look? Just look how it came out, yeah. So we're going back to our skewers. They already dry, you know. They already dried, and then we're going to make. Uh, now we're going to create our frames. Something I'll advise. Something that I noted when doing this. I'll advise you to make the frames first and then paint them. Yeah, make make the frame first and then paint it, because for me I feel like when adding this. It came. It had. It, it gave me some. Some. It. It wasn't that neat because of the 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 glue. But again, it was good. It was good. I was, I'm not complaining, but I'm just trying because I've learned now. You, you who is watching this video and want to do to try this, I'll recommend you. You glue them together first, create your frame, and then come paint it. Alternatively, you can use the other frames like the ones we used on the other DIY. You can check it out. If you haven't watched the previous leaf DIY, you can watch it out. You can go back and check it out. And you can use those frames that you want. You can use the white frame that you want. Or yeah, or just go get go through the hassle of creating these ones like I did because I love creativity. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm just gluing them together with all the creativity i have with you know trying all i can so i'm trying not to make them of the same level so yeah i did a frame a wider frame because you can tell it has like four skewers together attached together yeah they four one two three four yeah there are four i tried four skewers joined together for the sides and then i'm um, for the yeah for the sides depending with where this the best thing about this frame is that you can de decide which side you want to be 
your horizontal or vertical axis. Hey, hey, kumbe ni le soma we? It's because night wave. Yeah. Anyway, you can decide which side of um this axis you want to uh this this side of the skewers you want to be your horizontal or your vertical once this DIY is done. So don't worry about me. You see what I'm saying about um glue gun. I feel like it was popping from the inside. You can tell there's there's cut glue there. So I feel like it was popping and it was showing and I don't like that. So I tried cleaning up. I tried cleaning it up so it doesn't be it doesn't what it doesn't come out as untidy but again as i said we move on and it looks good it looks good it i i, I will not lie this frame was giving me some amazing vibes yeah as you can tell can you see that so i tried not to have same sides frame or same, both sides looking alike so you can tell the the one side has only two and the other one has a set of four yeah a set of two which is four so that's <laughs> that's what i did and then i used i tried um with glue gun really trying to make them straight but hey my friend it told it taught me i don't know how to measure but again we are going to make it until we're going to fake it until we make it what do I mean? I'm going to do this, push it to move it as much as I can until we have the right um, frame that you want. So as you can see, me this is just me adjusting it, adjusting, adjusting until I get what I want. Glue gun, glue gun. At this point, trust me, nearly chomeka, nearly chomeka, because where this was an was a tiny space of uh, I'm playing with and I'm adding glue. So be gentle. Be gentle as I always say be gentle when you're doing glue gun. So that's our frame as you can see So if you are going to try this I advise you to try it Before just make your frames before before you paint. Yeah, not at the final stage our frames are done and Yo as you can see we can all agree this one is cute and it's crooked, yeah. So I'm going to try to fix it. But again, if my leaves are going to look good on this crooked frame, why not? Why not just attach them? Why not? So at this point, I tried. I tried um, putting our leaves to this frame, and then I realized um, they were still um, not as as strong as I thought, and this and they were not opening up as much as I wanted them to open up. And this is a side effect. This is an effect of uh, pressing it down when, you remember when you're doing the nini. So I decided because I want them to, to open up, I decided to add skewers to this so that it just have that, uh, to, to add firmness, yeah? So I wanted to add firmness. So I felt like I'll just add a skewer to hold it like a, like a, a stem, you know, the way we have uh, stems very strong stems <laughs> on the leaf <laughs> so i decided to add skewers to this leaf so that it can hold as a stem do you understand do you feel me so that it's it's going to lay down and open up but if you want to do the mistake that i did of folding it too hard at the starting point you're not going to have this you're not going to suffer this you trust me you're like oh see this was a very very good idea because now i feel like my leaf has opened up without any struggle and also these skewers are going to help me attach it to the frame oh god i feel like a genius at this point i really feel like a genius at this point <laughs> but anyway that's how you're going to just um attach them but then this this was a wise idea adding the skewers it gave the the leaf uh strength it made the leaf firm and as you can tell yo you can tell it's giving, it's giving, the leaf is giving, this DIY is giving, right? This DIY is really, really, really coming to life. Like, yo. So anyway, as I said, I'm going to attack, we have already done with one. So I did the second one, I did, um, I did uh, the skewers already. So I'm just going to attach it. Now here it's your creativity or how you want, your mag do your magic. Uh, put them the way you want, align them the way you want. Just don't be in a rush. Don't worry about, oh, it's, it's going to be too much. Oh, it, even if you want three leaves, put them and then come create, think about how you're now going to um, put them on your frames because, hey, 
This one is giving. Just look at that gold. Look at that gold. And I love how gold and black give life to everything. Like it gives life. Oh my god. Oh you guy. Oh what am I even saying? This day is so cute. Like yo, at this point you're done. You are done. You can hang you can hang your DIY where you want it. Just place it where you want. Just look at that. Look how cute that looks. You know? We are we are we are we are really really done with this day away and I'm really happy. I'm super excited and I love how it turned out. Thank you guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're going to try this. Don't fear trying this. Just go go out, go out and try. Any chupa, you can, no one can tell this a bottle, whatever. But anyway, go out do this day away. If you do it, just let me know on my socials at Kimzi underscore Likia everywhere. Check my socials and. I love you so much. Till next time. Bye-bye. Oh my God. This is so cute. I love, 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 love this. Bye-bye.